40% of the S&P 500 will be replaced in just 10 years. 14%, just 14% of new grads want to work in large organizations. They want to work in startups or start their own businesses. Technology is changing at lightning speed, right? Yet 80% of IT budgets are spent on supporting legacy systems. How are we going to manage these changes? Beginning about 10 years ago, I had the opportunity to study how people in severely resource-constrained environments solve problems. Because they do. Big, pressing problems. And I learned about an approach to innovation that I called Jugad Innovation. And this is an approach that's frugal, that's flexible, and that it's inclusive. And I began teaching this approach to US companies. It's quite different to the approach in more resource-rich environments. And what I noticed as I was teaching this is that there was a big shift that was occurring, a positive shift. And the shift was this. There was more attention being paid to innovation. There was more attention being paid to what are the kinds of ideas that we need to put forward? How do we connect with our end users? What does it mean to be human-centered? So the ideas were getting better they were more likely to spur innovation. But there was a big gap. There was a big problem. And that problem was, it was hard. It was way too hard to move the ideas through to execution. Okay? Way too hard. And then I'd have these offline conversations with people in the organization, and they would say, OK, I get it. Our leaders want us to do more innovation, but I don't know what that means to us. And I don't really know how to do it. I have a lot of competing priorities. I have things that I've got to do every single day. So I don't know if I have time for this. And I'm not even measured for this, so I don't know if I should do it. How many of you think that conversation might be happening in your organization? When I speak to senior leaders, it's clear this happens across almost every organization, across all verticals. So that's why I wrote this book, to answer those questions. It's not just about better ideas, but it's about execution of these ideas. So today, I want to share some stories and some principles with you, and I'll share a new paradigm with you that helps you make sense of it all. Okay? And this is what I call disrupt it yourself but I'm getting ahead of myself. In order for us to understand where we're going, we need to understand how we got here. You might be wondering what Cosmo has to do with innovation. So I wasn't always an innovation strategist. I used to have a career in healthcare. I was actually a dentist. It's a true story. You can imagine this was hard for me because I really love talking to people. <laughs> so I made a quick exit out of dentistry. But when I entered into the world of innovation and innovation strategy, I started to read everything I could get my hands on, books, blogs, journals, just to understand what is innovation? What does it mean? How is it done? And whose job is it? And the interesting thing was, I felt like no matter where I looked, the content would get sort of repurposed and recycled. That's not to say that new products and business, business models or services weren't being developed, but rather that the content that I was seeing was a repackaging of something old. And it always reminds me of magazines like this one, where the content's the same every month, but you still buy the magazine. So I thought it'd be really fun to see what would happen if we replaced the word sex and weight loss with innovation. So here he is, Jeff Bezos as our cover boy of innovation, talking about late night creativity. And I share this with you not to minimize the importance of all the work in front of us and all the opportunities that we have to solve problems for our partners, for our end users, but rather just to say what Antonio said this morning, this is about having fun. We can have some fun today here in this presentation, here at Discovery, 
But we also want to remember, it doesn't live and die in this room. Take it back with you to your organizations. It's a great way to build engagement, and it will get you to better innovation.